Welcome, one and all. Caleb, where are we? Uh, we're in Memphis. We are in Memphis, one of the most crime-ridden cities in the country. But we came from St. Louis, which is number one. We have gone down to like number four. So I guess that's something. We are here to see a Memphis Redbirds game. Mm -hmm. Very excited. We've never been to a minor league. I've never been to an actual official AAA game minor league before. I've never been either. No, nope. we're staying at, let me see, the La Quinta Inn. It's right next to the stadium. It's like a block away from the stadium is just right there. We can see it from here. There's the, the there's the Memphis skyline. Yeah, the scoreboard of the stadium is right behind us. Uh, I'm a little nervous because I know there's been a lot of break-ins in cars here in Memphis. Same with St. Louis. Yeah, I feel a little better because it's, there is a fence around here, which is nice. So that gives me a little more safe. What am I trying to say? It makes me feel a little better. But we're going to check into our hotel. I'm a little nervous because it looks like a window has been broken in the hotel. It's boarded up, so hopefully that wasn't crime. But let's go check in and see our room. Come with us. Welcome to Memphis. Here is the check-in desk. Everything was so nice and clean. Everyone was very friendly. I picked uh, La Quinta because it was real close to what we wanted to do and it got a really good rating, a 9 out of 10 on Hotels.com and it was only just a couple minute walk to the stadium and it was real close to Beale Street or where the Grizzlies play FedEx Forum if we wanted to visit there. This is about the price I paid, a 186 and 222 after fees. I know it'll change depending on the time of year and the day of the week. And it wasn't, you know, the cheapest place we could have stayed, but we wanted to be close to the action. And if we wanted to go to Beale Street, we were just, you know, a few minutes from there. All right, we have arrived in room 308. We got a bathroom here. Caleb is testing that out now. We got a microwave and a little fridge right here. Typical hotel closet. Here's our stuff. We just walked in. Two queen beds, nice artwork, nothing fancy. Nice enough. There's, you know, average TV. And here's our view. We can see the stadium, sort of. There's a building in the way, but the stadium is right behind that building. You can see the the green scoreboard or video board or whatever it is right there and the Memphis skyline so we got a good view I believe we can also see I believe this is where the Grizzlies play it has to be this big arena over here it says FedEx so it must be like FedEx arena or something so so far so good I think I'm gonna move my car down here just for some extra security. I don't know. I feel like I should be okay if I move it over here. Here's the breakfast. They had sausage, eggs, bagels, you know, standard continental stuff, plus a few hot items. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't, you know, delicious or anything. And here's just a look around the seating area. Pretty nice area. Caleb went with the waffle. He is an expert at making waffles. I'm not sure why he's putting the butter on like that, but he can explain that to you someday. They also had all kinds of cereal and muffins. Here's also the pool. It says you had to make a appointment to use the pool. We didn't even bother with that. We didn't even bring our swim trunks, but it was just a standard pool. All right, it's the next morning. How'd you sleep? Good. I found the beds very comfortable. Besides the biker game outside, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, last night after we went to the Memphis game, there was like these guys riding motorcycles. There was what, about 25 of them at least? Yeah. Just riding up and down the street, making all kinds of noise. But. They stopped off around like 1130. It's like, come on, guys. But yeah, I thought the beds were nice. Everything's been clean. Breakfast was fine. They had the typical. Waffles, sausage, eggs. I was hoping for biscuits and gravy, but it was not meant to be. 
but overall good experience I think the best part is the location it's kind of next to everything all right well that concludes our quick stay to La Quita can you see it up there I had a good time what about you uh, yep it was, it was only one night not even 24 hours it was three yesterday till about 10 today or so I don't know what, I don't even know what time it is but we had a good time we are heading back to St. Louis. May the adventure continue. Like, subscribe, and blah, blah, blah. Bye.